Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another Honeybee Acres review video. So I did pick these up today with a mission to sort of try and complete my Honeybee Acres farm set. Uh, again, the <laughs> Honeybee Acres Busby Farmhouse, which is the big set, which retails for $49.99, uh, is already sold out online on Walmart and sold out at my uh, local Walmart, so I need to go and try and find it at one of the other Walmarts, just because I'm gonna have all these furniture things and they don't fit in the little cottage. I'd have to buy two more individual cottages, which I could, it'd be the same price, and then just move the furniture around. But it's still a very cute set. So I did pick up today the Bubbly Bee Bathroom, which is the big bathroom set. If you look at the farmhouse, it only comes with a toilet for the bathroom. Like, it has some furniture, but not a lot. Um, and then, so this retails for $9.99, which is not bad. So even if you're buying all three furniture packs and the big farmhouse, you're still looking at only $80. So I did pick up this because I wanted to get this as the last furniture pack. The other thing that's about this size is the camper van, which is really cute. It's like a VW bug van or VW van, but I just, I haven't gotten it yet. It's been at my local Walmart and I will eventually probably get it because it's still $9.99, but it's just not a furniture pack and it only holds four figures. So... And then in addition to that, I picked up baby Georgie, who is a bear, if you can see her in there. So I did get baby Ollie and baby Georgie because I want that furniture that they come with to really kind of complete any uh, nursery because I do have a lot of uh, little siblings. Because these are the same size as your little siblings that come in the family four packs. So, uh, just because we can, let's start with the babies. Okay. And just like our other ones, we have a nice, easy release. get there out and now we do have a different little description on the back for meet Georgie so Georgie is always hungry and has a big appetite for for a baby bear Georgie loves eating unless there's a bowl of peas in front of her so this is Georgie she's a little gray bear you do see her eyelashes. There's a little bit of an issue with her flocking on her cheek and her head on her head. I have noticed there is some issue with the flocking on some of these characters, but not enough that I'm worried about them as a whole, considering these. The little sibling packs retail for $4.99, which is not bad. Uh, considering this figure comes out to about 250 if you get the family four pack. And these figures that are in the baby sets are not the same babies that you're getting in the family four packs, which I love that. Uh, and you're getting exclusive furniture. So let's get this furniture off. And it's again, just sort of held in with the uh, with the little plastic piece. So it's not horrible, it's not bad. Uh, here's the little thing. So we have to get our little baby bear in there. And that's how she sits. Again, we've got this little uh, honeybee branding right there. You can see the individual pattern, the individual planks of wood. So I love that. Again, you can see it on the back of the chair also. 
This is a pretty light chair, but it's sturdy. It's all one piece. Uh, this is a separate molded plastic that is hinged on right here at the back with little pegs. And I like that it's a uh, little furniture for the babies because this can go right in my kitchen. Uh, the only things that are kind of inexplicably absent from Honeybee Acres is a bedroom set and a dining room set. So I don't know why that is. So here we have baby Ollie, he's a mouse. He does come with a little crib right there. And then meet Ollie. Ollie likes pretending his cradle is like a boat as he rocks side to side on the waves. It's nap time soon, so Ollie can dream about more adventures. So let's get Ollie out of his box. Not the easiest one to open on these. But. There we go. And again, this is what he looks like. He's a little white mouse. He is very cute. He is not the same shade as the big sister that came in the Playground Pals set. This is a little upsetting because most of the uh, most of the Playground Pals have had little siblings in the uh, in their uh, I forget what these are called the their actual name I don't think they actually have a name now that I'm looking at them. There's nothing on there. It's just baby and then their names. So it might just be baby fun packs or whatever. Uh, but let's get, let's get this one out of here, Ollie. And then we can get his little cradle out there. It does rock like an actual cradle. And then put him in there. He does fit in there laying down. I would have liked to have seen a blanket with this though because babies need a blanket if they're gonna sleep but there is no blanket that comes with it. But again it's very cute and then this is the kind of stuff that I'd want to see for a nursery. Like yeah and that's why I got it. Like this is very cute. Both of these are cute. Uh, and so that's two more characters. And now we've got our bubbly bee bathroom. So I like the way this looks. Like there's a lot of pieces in here. There's 30 pieces in here. Uh, you do see a lot of like toothbrushes and toilet paper rolls and a little rubber ducky, a little plant up there and a little ladder to hang your towels on. But you get towels and you get the uh, curtains and you get a rug back there there's a little step stool for them to climb on again these characters are not um, they're not real these are just cardboard inserts um, so let's take this out and see what it looks like And again, these are pretty easy to open. You just kind of cut one piece of tape and then drag your insert out. Let me show you all the back. So we do have, this is what the back looks like. So you do see all of this. It does say curtain rod, not included. So my first time going over this, I did not pay attention to that curtain rod not included, which is a little sad because that eats up six of your pieces. So this is really a 24 piece set, not a 30 piece set, because you can't use those curtain rods unless, you, or you can't use those curtains unless you get your own curtain rods for your own little uh, makeshift farmhouse. But again, curtain rods are in the Busby farmhouse, which is very cute. And I'm kind of kicking myself because I saw this when I bought the first ones. 
and I did not buy it because I thought it was too expensive for what it was, and I realized later that this is a great deal for what it is at $49.99. So come visit. It's time for a bubble bath to get squeaky and clean. Soap up, splash around, and play with the rubber ducky. But don't forget to get out and brush your teeth at the sink. It's time for a bedtime story. And then again, hbatoys.com just takes you to their uh, YouTube page right now. So, but this is very cute. So let's get this fully out of the plastic if we can. So this is set up in a way that is a little bit hard to get to just because it's not along the bottom, it's along the back. So I gotta, I've got to unfold this just a little bit. Again, be careful when you're doing things like this because I have cut myself more than once with the trying to get out of these uh, things. And so what we're gonna do, see right there, everything is stored on the back, which is a little weird. So what I'm gonna try to do is go this way to just get as much of it off as I can without it all coming crashing down. So we did get that off successfully. And now what we want to do is take these uh, pieces of tape off. I'm not a fan of them taping everything down for these, but I'd rather them tape than put staples. Um, so yeah, all in all, not, uh, not upset by the tape. It just can sometimes take off a little bit of the color if you're not careful. Oops, sorry about that. Motion sickness warning. Uh, but we've got our curtains, the first three, and our second three curtains. So there's three windows that we've got to cover. And then we've got two towels right there. And another two towels right here. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's see if we can't take everything out peacefully. So this is our little uh, towel rack that we're using. So again, this could be a little challenging to keep these on there unless you weave it through the rack, leave it through the rungs, which you're not supposed to, you're just supposed to be able to hang them. But they're very cute nonetheless. It's a cute little aesthetic choice. Uh, but you would have to uh, either iron those or figure out a way to keep them down. But like that, maybe if I were to put a little rubber band on them for a bit, it would keep them tighter. Like that. And then just hope that they uh, that they form into that shape that I want them to keep. Uh, again, 
our uh, our curtains are kind of useless until we get the curtain rods that come in the Busby farmhouse but this is what they look like they're little bubbles uh, very cute Ooh. that fell out that's our toilet cabinet or behind the toilet cabinet so I guess that'll be the next piece that we pull out so here's our little toilet it does come up and ladies be thankful the little toilet seat doesn't come up either so just the top just the lid comes up uh, so that's kind of cool and we do have this little like little plant to put on there and we've got some tape that's securing all of our other stuff into our cabinet. Again, I appreciate the fact that they use minimal staples. So here's our little rubber ducky. Well, that's into the ether. Nope, here it is, I got it, okay. And then we do have two little toilet paper rolls. Like, that's really cute. Like, I like that they don't pretend that, you know, people don't poop. Oh gosh, okay, my, f my fingers are not built for 1 12th scale, y'all. <laughs> this is a bit of a challenge for big fingered people like me. Like, I am clumsy when it comes to that. I can paint miniatures, but apparently I cannot place them. Uh, so that's what that looks like. And then our toilet fits right under there. And we've got our little plant up there. You can move these accessories around wherever you want them. Uh, and now let's look at the bathtub. So this bathtub, this little uh, bath wand, hardware does come off the rack. Uh, these don't spin, but this is very cute. Like this, like it has an individually molded plug. Like you can see where the drain goes. Like that's very cute and I am here for it. Um, so that's what that looks like. So that's a nice bathtub. The bathtub is almost the same size as the bed. Like, that's kind of impressive. Um, and now what we're gonna do is with this one. Okay, so we've got our really cute vanity that's a working mirror. Sorry you're seeing uh, my filming area. And then we do have three individual little baskets to put things like lotions and things like that. So there's a lot of storage space in these things. Um, and then all three of these drawers are functional. If you can see them come out. Again, with my big fingers, these are really difficult to do and no nails, but all three of those drawers do come out and open. So this is a double vanity uh, and it does have the little like step stool, which you could put either in front of the toilet or in front of the counter. Uh, it's very cute. And then we have our, our last pieces which are the uh, little like mouthwash or hand soap, whatever these are supposed to be. Uh, and then we have a little cup for toothbrushes with two toothbrushes in it. And then unfortunately this little, uh, whatever it's supposed to be has a little nip down there that's going to keep that from sitting flush but thankfully that's why we keep nippers on hand when we open toys and we just flush that right down and now it stands just perfect right 
these are great, y'all. I recommend buying a pair of these because because they are super helpful in all of your toy projects. Uh, so here we've got our little towel rack, however you want to use it. We've got our toilet. Don't forget your rug. That's right there. And it's very cute. Like, we've got our happy little family here. I'm actually going to throw a couple of our playground pals in there. So here we go. We've got our little, uh, our little fox friend. Whoop. Everything came tumbling down. Call her Humpty Dumpty. stand up on that little thing and our little owl friend there in the bathtub but yeah so that's our uh, bubbly bathroom it's very cute uh, again it is only $9.99 it does not come with any figures but honestly, I prefer that because you don't wind up with figures that you don't want. With the exception being if you want to buy the uh, playground packs, which I think so. It's playground pals for the uh, for the kids, and then uh, little baby packs. But they're very cute, and I'm not upset about any of that. Uh, we've got our little rubber ducky is going to live in the bathtub because it flies everywhere. And yeah. So, I mean, those are your very cute uh, uh, bubbly bathroom. Again, don't forget about your curtains. Hold on to those for whenever you get the uh, farmhouse. Or you can use a, I want to say, 3 16th rod. to do it if you were going to just look, if you were just going to uh, have them displayed but yeah so that's our final furniture pack again we've got our kitchen and our living room over there and I do have parts of the living room already in my farmhouse right under there but yeah so that's what we've got and remember you know these are at Walmart. These are not super expensive. These, honestly, if you've got a if you've got a kid that likes the one twelfth scale, these are a great buy. These are a lot cheaper than you're gonna find for the Calico Critter or a Sylviana family because these are, you know, they just are cheaper. So. Uh, if you're in the market for these, take a look at your local Walmart. Uh, they're all, except for the Busby Farmhouse, available on walmart.com for the same price. I don't know if these are going to get marked down any for the holiday season. As far as I know, these are pretty brand new. Uh, so, uh, give it a watch. But like I said, I got sold out on the Busby Farmhouse, which makes me a little mad because it's only been out for a couple of months, if that, or I think a month. But, and it just hit the store, it just hit the shelves at my local Walmart uh, like two weeks ago. But again, these are very cute. All of the furniture packs do fit into the Busby Farmhouse, and that's what they're designed to fit into. You can take pieces individually and put them into the uh, Sunflower Cottage, but Sunflower Cozy Cottage, I think it's its full name. But you just won't really have room for everything if you do that. Like, I could take this, uh, here, let me show y'all just more of an example. Like, I have my like I have another chair right there but like I could take this chair out 
and I could put the sink if I wanted to and put the sink right there, right under that window. But then I don't really have a ton of room to put that chair and still keep a walking distance. So, I mean, you can do whatever you want with them. And that's the beautiful part of this, of these. Uh, I may actually, I haven't decided, uh, pick up another one of these farmhouses. There is still the general store that I've not picked up that I think is gonna be part of my next video. I may get the general store and the van next because the general store is only $19.99 and the van itself is $9.99. So if you like the way these look, they're very cute, they're very simple. Uh, your figures average out to about $2.50 a figure based on the, uh, based on the family four packs. If you get the Playground Pals, which is all the big sibling size, uh, there are nine of them and it's $20. So you do get for like, like 208 or whatever, or like 210. But so, I mean, any set that you get, just kind of subtract 250 if it comes with a, with a figure and that tells you what you're really paying per piece. Like these, uh, the little little sibling packs are four ninety nine. So you take the two fifty away for the figure, and these pieces of furniture are two fifty each. So it's not bad. Like I'm here for it. Uh, this matches our little farmhouse up here, so I may take this one out and put the cradle right there instead, and keep this over here and put her on the bed with her cat friend and put that back over by the by the living room because I mean you have all that blue wood that matches so yeah you know if you're looking for a little 1 12th scale Barbie house or not Barbie house dollhouse uh, you can tell what my channel is normally about <laughs> uh, these are a great deal because if you buy, because uh, again, this cottage was 25 and it's amazing in my opinion uh, for what it is and for the price that it is, it's a great value. Uh, so yeah, and again, these are compatible with most of the, uh, with most of the figures that are 112. I don't think they're super compatible with the Little Woodsies, just because Little Woodsies are very bulbous. Like a Little Woodsies little brother or little baby sister, I don't think it's gonna fit in this high chair, but let me see. So I've got this Little Woodsie right here. Oh, nope. And it just popped right off. Now let's see if that's broken or if that's just part of the play. I think it's just part of the play. Yeah, that's just part of the play. We're good. And I put that on upside down. Look at me. Boop, boop. So, I mean, they can fit in there. Kinda. But they're not really designed to fit in there. And especially in chairs. So, there you go. That's what we've got. Uh, I really do hope that they release some more of the family packs because so far we only have one owl and we only have one cow and then we have one fox. Uh, we do have the little baby versions. Yeah, because we have the, the little owl Hootie and little owl Moo. And then Mimi is a cat, not a fox. So, yeah. So, this is the only fox that we have. So, I'm hoping we do get a family four pack of her. As well as with the cow. Because this little cow is so cute. 
All right, y'all. This has been Disney D Prince. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you liked it, drop a like. If you have a question, leave a comment. And as always, subscribe for more if you want to see some more fun unboxings and follow along with my with my Honeybee Acres saga. All right, y'all. Be good.